Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen. This is going to be fun today. I've decided to start a new series and it's going to be called What Wigs I Wore This Month. I've had so many questions about my wigs, how I decide what to wear, and I decided to just start a new series and show you some of the wigs that I wear during the month. Now I can't show them all or we'd be here all day. So I chose six and I'll show you those six. Now you know I wear a different wig every day to work. And I love that because I love opening the conversation about wigs, people starting to be open about wigs, talking about wigs, and just how great they are and what a convenience they are. Now, all of these wigs came from wigstudio1.com. They were either purchased with my own funds or provided to me for a previous review, but they all came from Wig Studio One. I have reviewed all of these wigs and in the drop down box below this video will be links to all the videos. So if you want to see more on one of these styles, all you'll have to do is go to the drop down box and there'll be a link there. Okay, this is going to get busy, so we better get started. Okay, first up is John Renault Haley in the color Martini, which is 101F48T. Now, this is part of their professional collection. Now, this is sold in boutiques and some select online retailers, and Wig Studio One has been selected to sell this wig. Now, you won't find it on the website. You'll have to get in touch with them at support at wigstudio1.com, and one of the hair care consultants can give you all the information about Haley. This is a beautiful bob. I enjoy this so, so much. It has a large mono top, a lace front. It's open wefted. Now this color, Martini, beautiful blonde color. It's blended with some gray, as you can see. It has some light brown. It has some beige. All of this running through this, so it's super blended. It is not harsh in any way. It works for so many skin tones and face shapes this wig. I like the uh, length of this. Again, all the information about these wigs will be in the videos link below. This is just an overview of some of these that I decided to wear this month. It looks great with a headband. So many ways you can wear Haley. I have worn this several times this month and you can just pull out some hair. I usually do that right around the front when I pull it all the way off my face, but you have this beautiful lace front, why not? Just a beautiful, nice style by John Renault Haley. This is Aesthetica Designs Dina RH1488RT8. This is a fun, cool style. I really enjoy this. I like the shortness of this. I like the back. This is good to wear with a collar. You don't have to worry about too much wear and tear on your wig. RH1488RT8. It's a dark blonde with golden blonde highlights. And as you can see, it has this golden brown root. It's very similar to uh, Shaded Praline 12FS8. It is also very similar to Noriko Creamy Toffee Rooted. So if you are familiar with those colors, this is very similar to that. This has a lace front. Now there are no mono features on this, so it's a little more budget friendly, so keep that in mind. Uh, there is some permatease here, yes. So if you don't like permatease, you probably will not like this wig because there definitely is some permatease, but like I said, this is a basic cap, so it has a good price point. Aesthetica Designs Dina. This is John Renault Marion 12FS12 Malibu Blonde, sleek, shoulder length bob. Now, in my opinion, this needs a little steaming. When it first comes out of the box, it tends to want to fall in your face, but a little steaming will work. You could also use a little spray here just to get that up and off your face. I do that as a temporary fix, but if I want something long term, then I will absolutely steam it. This has a beautiful lace front, a large mono top. No permatease here. Open wefted. Very beautiful, long, sleek style. 
so pretty now 12 fs 12 malibu blonde it's the uh lighter rooted version of 12 fs 8 so it's just like 12 fs 8 everywhere else except for the root it is lighter which i appreciate in this style okay so have a look john renault marion Okay, this is Renea Paris Coco in Frosty Blonde. I reach for this wig all the time in the summer. If you do not like permatease, this is not your wig. This wig is full of permatease. It is an out-of-the-box, throw-on-and-go style. It's basic cap, so there's no frills here. There's no lace front. There's no mono features, but it is very budget-friendly. In my opinion, this is a great first wig. If you don't know what style you like, you want something short, you want something spiky, have a look at Renea Paris Coco. Just one of my favorites. I love a short pixie that I can just throw on and get out the door. Frosty Blonde. It is a blend of platinum and light ash brown. It's a very ashy color. Really pretty. Nice that it's off your nape. Again, you can wear a collar with this. You don't have to worry about your wig rubbing against your collar. That's a plus for sure. Also good in the fall and winter when you wear turtlenecks. This is a nice one to wear as well. This is Noriko Alva in Creamy Toffee Rooted. Okay, this is in my top 10 wigs. I reach for this all the time. I have it in three colors already, I think. Best seller for Noriko. Again, if you don't like permatease, not your wig. Lots of permatease here. It's a longer bob with these face framing layers. Works good for so many people. Lots of movement. Just a really popular style, has bangs. Now, you might want to, this is just a heat styling tool, use at your own discretion, but I use this to bump these bangs under a little. And I just keep it moving through these bangs. It's an easy, easy way just to get your bangs to roll under just a tad. Okay, creamy toffee rooted. Beautiful color, shades of honey blonde. There's a little platinum in here, and then it has a dark root. Nothing fancy about this wig. No mono features, no lace front. Very, very basic. Again, budget friendly. Noriko Alva and Creamy Toffee Rooted. This is Raquel Welch Let's Rendezvous in Shaded Sand, RL1621SS. I reach for this all the time. This is, like I said, a new release for 2021. I have worn it multiple times already. I know this is going to be a top 10 for sure. Nice bob, long sweeping fringe here, great length. Lots and lots of good movement in this one. So, so realistic. I like these face framing layers very much. Again, I think they work for so many face shapes. Now, Shaded Sand, it's a very soft color. It has a lighter brown root, medium to dark sandy blonde, and lots and lots of pale blonde highlights in here. Again, I have a video uh, already on this, and it has outdoor lighting, everything you need to know. It'll be linked below. Mono top, temple to temple lace front, gorgeous Raquel Welch lace front. I can't say enough about Let's Rendezvous. I can tell it's going to be popular already. So many people are talking about it in this beautiful color, shaded sand. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun making this video of the different wigs that I wore in the month of September, a few of them anyway. So if you enjoyed this, please leave me some comments below so I'll keep this kind of content coming. And also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really makes a difference. And don't forget, follow me on, over on Instagram. I have a lot of wig giveaways over there and lots of fun stuff at Crazy Wig Lady on Instagram. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time.